All right, so this part of your unit two assessment study guide, it, and um, just please disregard the sound in the background. Um, so the assignment that you can look to to help you out with this is the create a table. Um, that, this is one of the questions that was actually in, mentioned in your create a table assignment. So the question was, what patterns did you see in different groups, columns, in the create a table card activity? So I've given you some examples of one of the things you could have seen. So you've got oxygen, sulfur, and selenium, which on your periodic table is right here. We've got oxygen, sulfur, selenium, and then there's going to be some questions about tellurium that you'll be needed to answer for your um, for this portion portion as well. So one um, so come a couple of things that you could have written in order. Um, there can be a variety of things. So um, you could have written that they had the same number of spikes. So I'm going to just write this small same number of spikes, which is also the same number of valence electrons. You could have said that they were the same color, but maybe a different hue, different shade. Um, you could have also written that they also react with metal. So they react with metals. There could have been a variety of different things, excuse me. There could have been a variety of the different things that you saw. And then you might notice here, you're, there's nothing across the group, so there's nothing to compare in this example. But one of the things that you could have had in your activity was what patterns did you see in different periods across the row? The most common thing that folks wrote were that the, um, the number of spikes, I'm going to put that also in quotations because that spike is representing the valence electrons, the number of spikes increased. Some people also notice that the atom size got smaller, so um, or shrunk. So there could have been a variety of different things. On this next uh, number thirteen is showing you some properties of the. So below are some some properties of the, a column of one of the periodic tables. So excuse me, it, this is actually indicating that. To the left are some properties of a column on the periodic table. Excuse my typo on that one. So using this information, predict the properties of tellurium. So you've got tellurium, please notice. Tellurium is directly below. We've got oxygen, sulfur, selenium, and tellurium is right here, right below. So knowing, looking at the pattern that you have going on with these cards and knowing what you know from that activity, so you can see that um, here, the first thing it says, tellurium will react blank with metals. So we've got react slowly with metals, react slowly with metals, react slowly with metals. Through that, you can then determine that the same pattern will follow for tellurium. You could say react slowly with me metals. Tellurium will be found in blank blank. So here we've got found in H2O liquid. Notice that there's an O here, so H2O. Here is found an H2S gas, so notice that this S is representing here, so H2 gas. And here we've got H2SE gas, so we've got SE there. So knowing that, we could say that we've got two gases and a, and a liquid. Not going down the group, it is going to continue to follow the same suit. So you'd say H2TE, which is the symbol for tellurium, and gas. If you wrote liquid, it would be okay, but gas is the... Real answer, tellurium, as long as you get to the H2TE, you should be in good shape. So then tellurium will most likely be a, what kind of color? So here we have gray, here we have yellow, and here we have odorless. So following the same suit, as we go down the group, we've got um, things are varies in color. You could write varies. You could write, so varies would be acceptable, or you could write a gray color. It does not matter how you spell gray, either with an A or an I, E. It does not matter. So then you've got delirium will exist at blank at, in room temperature. So will it cons will it be a gas? Will it be a solid? Or will it be a so a liquid? So these two right here are a solid. Here we've got a gas. So going down the group it is becoming more dense. So then um, through that it will become a solid. It will be a solid at room temperature. And tellurium can be categorized as a, here we've got a non-metal, non-metal, non-metal. You can write non-metal would be considered to be acceptable, but if you saw more detailed on the question below, that it is actually considered.